belongs to us. The power belongs to the people. Galam say we want clean water. No more Galam say we want clean water now. No more talk. Now, clean water. Galam say must stop. My grandchildren are not going to drink dirty water. So we want the clean water now. We cannot afford dialysis. I have many grandchildren. I have many children. How am I supposed to afford dialysis for them? There's no work for the youth. Galam say must end now, not tomorrow. Yeah, so far, so good. Well, so good in the sense that people are coming, you know, right now, the whole of uh, Accra right now is at a standstill, but, and it has to be at a standstill because um, Ghanam say is not, is a serious issue. Ghanam say is a very serious issue, it's affecting people's lives. People have died due to Ghanam say. Children have died due to Ghanam say. It's destroying our water bodies, the food that we eat. A lot of them are, is coming from the areas in which Ghanam say is being done. So that means that the chemicals which are going into the water bodies are going into our bodies. This is a, we have an existential crisis. Ghanaians need to wake up. Oh, well, I came all the way to support Stop Galamsey. That's my message. Even though, don't mind about this, I came here to tell the government to stop Galamsey because he has the power to stop it. And I want it to stop. Yeah. Keep talking. Um, I mean, he has destroyed our water. When you go to my constituency, I have a number of people who have gone blind due to the mercury. I have one on North East. And Pasar Soyo, also Dot Team, Domi Abra. We have a number of blindness. And I've screened them, so I'm seeing this based on fat. Enough is enough. Our, our, our roads are destroyed, our farms are destroyed. It's like we have no future. It is about time we fight for our right. This is not what they promise us. They promise us with a good future, jobs and all the like, but we don't have nothing up to date. We are so suffering. If you look at around, I can bet you that about 80% of the youth, nobody has jobs. That is how bad it is. Yesterday I went to somewhere in Kasua and they have no job. Okay, the youth were telling me that about 90% of them has no job. So what are they doing? Smoking and getting high so that they can sleep. They can't even afford three square of meal. Is that how we want? That's not what we want. We want a better Ghana and we want Galante to stop. <laughs>